Here's Colin Felton. Hello, John. Oh, hello. John. Yes, I want to make your listeners a lot of money. Invest in Calagas and solar-powered fans for air, cold air. Invest in Calagas yeah, and solar-powered fans for yeah. cold air. Yeah, you can get them. You can invest in both of those. And that's what we're going to be using in, within, within 10 years because we won't be able to afford uh, the energy bills plus all the other bills. It's the only way. Calagas. That's the thing they're going to do because... Uh, and when you say invest in Calagas, you mean just buy some? Well, you could do that if you haven't got a lot of money, you know, but you can't not pay rent or not pay mortgages or not pay for food. But you can certainly not pay for gas or electric, can do you? You can stop paying for that and buy uh, yeah. color gas uh, heaters and solar-powered fans. <laughs> so the, the solar -powered Where did the so solar-powered fan? What, what have solar-powered fans got to do with it? Well, because basically, when it gets hot during yeah. the day, you you might be able to manage, but at night, if it's very 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 warm, it's hard to sleep. So the solar power board brings in power holds it and then at night you can use it right so you, you can use a solar powered um, uh, electric, device at well, night when the we, sun's they, not out they are is that what you're saying electric fans <laughs> yeah right. even though they're solar powered okay well i think there may be a flaw in your uh, logic there uh, john can well, you detect it as i can wrong. what's wrong with it well, I'll, um, I'll put my uh, thought on a piece of paper and I'll pop it in the post to you, all right? Yeah, that means you haven't got one. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks a lot, John. 0845-6060-973. Solar-powered electrical devices to be used at night. Can anybody see the, uh, the potential problem with that thought? You can text 84850, email nicka at lbc.co.uk, and if you're on Twitter, it's at LBC973. So uh, David Cameron believes that millions of people, poor, hard-working people, facing rising energy bills, should uh, shut up and wrap up. That is actually what he said in the minds of the journalists who reported this tripe. He didn't say any such thing. Some journalists said uh, whether people should wrap up warm and wear jumpers when it's cold. Well, the answer to that is yes, of course. But um, a highly trained spokesperson was um, parachuted in and said uh, these, these words. Clearly, the Prime Minister is not going to prescribe the actions that individuals should take, but if people are giving that advice, that is something that people may wish to consider. I mean, wow, that person should be Prime Minister right now, never mind about spokesman. That is genius. That's a lot of words and saying absolutely nothing whatsoever. The spokesman said the Prime Minister clearly would not advise people on what they should wear. And the headline, of course, is PM tells people to put jumpers on. But he didn't. The spokesperson said it is entirely false to suggest the PM would advise people that they should wear jumpers to stay warm. <laughs> but he should, though, because that is exactly how you stay warm, you put a jumper on. It's like that, um, that Scottish lady that does the weather on the, uh, on the breakfast uh, news on TV. Hello! Oh, it's been a wee, a wee bit bricked out today. Take your wee coaty. Oh, painful. Any suggestion to the contrary is mischief-making, said the spokesman about the Prime Minister of suggesting that, um, or being, um, being written as suggesting that, he, that people should wear a jumper. Any suggestion to the contrary is mischief-making. That is what his spokesman said. And only an ass would try to make political capital out of such a nothing-at-all story. Uh, so Ed Miliband, the Labour leader, seized on the comments. He said their crime uh, policy used to be hug a hoodie, now their energy policy appears to be wear a hoodie. He says these responses to the energy price rises show how little Mr Cameron and his government stand up for the interests of hard-working people. Now, wait a minute. Hard-working people? That's their phrase. Hard-working people who work hard at working hard for hard-working people is the Tories' riff for the autumn. It's their top ten hit of the season, and now Ed's nicked it. <laughs>